It's time to do our taxes. Boo! Which means it's time to get a refund. Yay! So if you're expecting a refund this year, head to Walmart and pick up a Walmart money card. With free direct deposit, you can get your refund fast. Just enter the card's number on your tax return form. If you're owed a refund, you'll get the money directly deposited onto your card. Don't wait by the mailbox. Get your money fast. Yay! Start strong. Save big at tax time. Walmart. Purchase monthly and other fees apply. See package for details. Successful card setup is required. Entrepreneurs from around the world, you're listening to the ultimate international business experience radio show on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. International news, informative talk every Thursday. Hello and welcome to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show. I'd like to send a warm welcome to all of my entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, business owners, and those of you who are considering launching out into the deep of running a successful business enterprise someday. Today is February the 5th. Wow, February is here, people. Hopefully you were able to accomplish all of the business things and goals in January. And if not, don't mull over it. As I've said in the past, manage your time a little bit better. Prioritize this month and stick with it. Remember, our goals are only goals if we can measure our growth. Other than that, it's just a bit of mumble and jumble. Laugh out loud with me for a moment. Someone probably didn't like that, but here at UIBE Radio, we hold you accountable. As always, I thank you for tuning in to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show. We are the show that provides you with international news, informative talk every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. Not only is it the number one network on this side of heaven, but it is the most informative. I am your host, rock star entrepreneur and international business consultant, Erica A. Murray. In case this is your first time tuning in, this is the radio show that highlights economic development through entrepreneurship. We track down those awesome entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, mompreneurs, and business owners who are on the move globally. Not only are they on the move, they are changing their communities through partnerships while adding jobs to our global economy. We also pride ourselves on keeping you informed about global opportunities, ways that you can improve your business, and, of course, let us not forget about our International Stiletto segment, the segment that focuses on women whose stiletto prints are in the sand around the world. And the reason we are the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show is because we'll never leave you with just information, you know, the theoretical stuff. We'll also give you a few action items to keep you moving forward in business. What good is theory without tips on how you can transition it into the practical? We desire to see your company moving forward and flourishing. If you are listening to this show and you want to be more active, hey, listen, you can text me by visiting www.mwhyradio.com and send a text live to me while I'm on the show by using hashtag UIBE. You just go right ahead and ask your questions. And again, if this is your first time tuning in, I don't think that I can thank you enough, so thank you for your time. And the way we start this show is by taking you on a trip somewhere around the world with international business news we think you can use. So here we go. Buckle your seatbelts. No need for an oxygen mask. There will be no turbulence. It's smooth sailing. Let's travel the globe. If you're in business, don't think that you don't need to know what's happening globally. You must know that international news impacts your business no matter where you are located. In international news today, we are going in a different region. How about Los Angeles, Brazil, Mexico, New York, and Argentina? They are all in the news that business owners can use. Listen here. Or a few companies that are making global strides, perhaps you can learn from them and are partnering with them in your business. The first international small and medium-sized enterprise is a company called Shopando. It's based in Mexico. They're making international e-commerce borderless. That's right, you heard it here. They're making it borderless. Here's the problem they found. In a search of good prices, international customers generally take risks to buy from Chinese websites, but they promptly face many problems, unreliable sellers, information in different languages, unsecure payment options, exchange rates, slow delivery time, somewhere up to six weeks, customs taxes and regulations, no warranties, and all of that other stuff. So here's the solution. They make international e-commerce borderless by simplifying the shopping experience of thousands of global customers who buy products from Chinese websites like Alibaba, AliExpress, etc. They offer local customer service, local currency payments, local warranties, and from China to your door in less than five days. 
You'll never have to worry about anything else because they handle everything for you. Why are they so awesome? As direct importers, they control the entire logistics process, allowing it allows them to cut out all of the middlemen. They operate in a negative without operating in a negative working capital, and they carry no inventory, so there's no financial risk. They are profitable in every single sales transaction. This company was founded by Mr. Isol Gomez Martinez. Well, kudos to him because it is a task whenever it is that you are ordering products offline and it seems to be coming from China or if, in fact, you do decide to go to Alibaba or AliExpress. So way to fill that gap and find a niche and go ahead and fill it. I like that. Go ahead, Mr. Martinez. The next company that I believe that business owners could learn a lot from and utilize their service is Brandtrack.fm. They are the next generation of background music for brands, and they are located in wonderful Argentina. Here's a little bit about their product. They aim to be the leading background music platform for businesses all over the world. Come on, we've all been in the elevator. We've all walked the halls of a hotel. We've been in department stores, and we hear this background music. Well, Backtrack provides brands with a service that enhances the customer's shopping experience and simplifies music curation. It also eliminates problems businesses encounter with other music services by offering them the power to ensure that the music is being played in their establishments among their features. With Brandtrack FM, business owners can select tailored music playlists curated by professional DJs to meet company and customer profiles. An affordable monthly price includes a feature to insert promotional voiceovers and access playlists while offline. In addition to these benefits, their services provide legal music licenses. If you know anything about music and playing it, you have to have the licenses for it. Not only is brand mark, uh, Brandtrack FM a great playlist concierge for restaurants, hotels, fashion retailers, and other businesses, it can also be the most powerful and simple online music player available for retail background music. This company was founded by Mr. Juan Pablo Bellani and Santiago Laguerre, and they are in Argentina. What a great company. The next company we're going to highlight in international news is Shakir. It's it's S-H-A-K-R. Listen, business owners, and listen closely. This is for you. Video ads for your business in minutes. They're located in wonderful Seoul, South Korea. I've been to that place. It's gorgeous. They have over 500 unique video styles from the same designers who make ads for your huge global brands. You can show off your company at trade shows or industry conferences and dazzle your prospective customers and business partners with these video templates. Just add a few photos of your property or your products and change the text to your liking. Add your logo for a professional look that will make others believe you spend thousands of dollars on your video. Not interested in industrial-looking business templates? Don't sweat it. They also have super exciting templates for perf- that's perfect for a vibrant and high-energy brand or person that wants to showcase their look solely. So they'll do tailor-made templates for you. They have the templates that you can just pop in. And if anybody is following the trend in business in which each and every one of my listeners should be because you're business owners, you know that video advertising is on the rise. People connect with people. They connect with images. And I believe that they have filled a gap for all of us, and I think that you guys should check them out. The next company is Hello Bit, which is located in Piedmont, California. Hello Bit has filled a niche in sending money globally, and having the cash delivered by a human ATM. Think about that. You no longer have to go to Western Union to pick up money or any of these other uh, uh, cash uh, transfer places. Holobit is a service that helps you to send your money to loved ones globally at half the cost of traditional services by harnessing the power of the the Bitcoin network, sometimes called money transfers or remittance. HelloBit takes a different approach. They match the receiver to the local person or place that can exchange Bitcoin for local currency. This exchange also earns money using their mobile app. The founders of this technology, HelloBit, are Brian Woods and Ali Goss. That's a great job. I think that they've also done something unconventional in creating the human ATM deliverer for global transfers of money. The next company we're going to look at is Slidebean. 
It's New York based. We all know that as business owners, we do presentations to present to prospective clients or to present to prospective buyers. So what they do is they have presentations that design themselves. Go figure. Slidebean is a simplified presentation tool that lets users create slides in a fraction of the time they would normally spend on PowerPoint. By separating content from design, users can focus on what they want to say while the rest is taken care of automatically. I think this is ingenuous. Their approach is to deck the, their approach is deck creation, which is very unique. All other software alternatives to PowerPoint offer a similar approach, a white empty canvas where the user needs to create the content while figuring out the design, and a set of tools that require a long learning curve. The current version of the tool was developed by a three-person team in under six months. Can you believe how technology and how bright individuals are? Over 18,000 users have signed up as of August 2014. The startup was a part of Startup Chile and Dream Adventures. It is one of the top three U.S.-based accelerators, according to Forbes magazine. The founders for this company are Jose Enrique Bolanos, uh, Benicio Chanto, and a guy by the name of Kaya. No last name needed. I like that. Our next company is Dillflix. It's Los Angeles based. Price line for movie tickets. If you've ever been to the movie recently, you can pay as much as $20 for a ticket, depending on where you're located in your region and what type of theater it is. Their product is 80% of movie theater seats are currently empty, but Dillflix gets um, gets butts in the empty seats by selling movie tickets and concessions for up to 60% off. Dillflix is the price line for movie tickets. $40 billion are spent every year on movie tickets, popcorn, sodas, but 88% of the movie theater seats are empty. Dillflix partners with theaters to fill those empty seats by selling movie tickets and concessions for up to 60% off, 24-7, 365 days with no convenience fees. You've got to love that. That was created by founders, Mr. Sean Wycliffe, he was a co-founder, and Zachary Canasio, he was the ultimate founder of this particular deal, Flix. I love that. And then we're going to go right on over to Brazil, and we have Carriara Beauty. It's a business-to-business marketplace for beauty professionals in Brazil. Listen, Carina Beauty is a one-stop shop platform for beauty professionals in salons. What they do is they have um, – they built a strong distribution channel, leading 100 and, like about 100,000 visits per month and about 85,000 Facebook fans. They also will leverage their growing customer base. They're in like 100, uh, 1K salons, and about 8,000 professionals are using them. Connect and shop the widest assortment of products and services with brands, manufacturers, and distributors of the beauty industry. Uh, Carinaro Beauty is a proud member of uh, 500 startups which is a seed fund and accelerator program, you got to know that this was a remarkable idea. And you would have thought that a woman would have done it, right? No, it's Rui Madeira. It's a guy. He did it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, gender does not restrict you from tapping into a market. You just have to have an open mindset. I would like to thank 500.co for contributing to this segment of our show where we mine the world for informative news we can use. You make it easy, 500.co. Thanks for being our global news partner. Thank you guys for continuing to listen to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show with myself, Erica A. Murray, on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network, where you can listen live on terrestrial AM or FM in Tampa, Las Vegas, Macon, Lancaster, Boulder, Richmond, Kansas City, and Seattle. You may also find us on over 20 different podcast stations on the web, and of course, we wouldn't be the network that we are if you couldn't find us on the infamous iTunes. When it comes to helping you, we have you covered on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. Just download the show and improve your business skills today. Don't forget that we do have an app that you can download in the App Store. Just search for MWHY Radio and take a trip around the world with me. Don't forget that you can ask me questions while I'm live on the air by going to 3W.MWHYRadio.com and send a text to the show using hashtag UIBE. Don't worry, listeners, we'll still take your questions on Facebook and Twitter, too. Hey, don't go anywhere. Today, in honor of Love Month, you know, February, Valentine's Day, all of that good stuff, we'll be giving away over $500 in cosmetics during the International Stiletto segment. 
And because we are UIBE Radio, we won't do it for just one day. Mm-hmm. We're giving away products all month long. Beauty is skin deep, but image lasts forever. And as female entrepreneurs, image matters. So ladies, continue to listen and call a friend and tell them to tune in too. After the break, we'll dive into seven tips to prevent a business meltdown in 2015. We'll be right back. The exclusive Blacklist, February 12th, featuring delectable wines from African-American wineries. Meet jazz legend Marcus Johnson and Shoe Crazy Wines, Gwen Hurt, and others. Delicious food provided by a sponsor, Boss Chi Catering, as well as live jazz. February 12th at the picturesque Virginia War Memorial. Tickets are $75 for this historical and trailblazing event. Become a part of history. Get your tickets today at www.thevinewineclub.com or by calling 804-993-4130. You don't want to miss this. This is Capri Smith, your uncuffed living expert. I want to take a moment and speak to my women entrepreneurs. If you have your own business card and the name of your business, but you struggle when someone asks what it is you do, that is a problem. If you are not making money that's going to build your legacy and sustain your family, that is a problem. I invite you to hop on over to caprismith.com Join my free newsletter, and while you're there, schedule your strategy session. I want to help you uncover some things that you should already know. I spent 20 years perfecting my craft, and I'm willing to share all of what I know with you today. If you're not living uncuffed, you're just not living. And if you're cuffed in your business, your clients will know that, and they won't invest in you. So let's connect. Until next time, have an awesome day. The Tanya Free and Friends Talk Show is happy to announce our partnership with the May We Help You Radio Network. You can now catch the rebroadcast of our Wednesday show every Thursday at 6 p.m. That's Tanya Free and Friends, the podcast, every Thursday evening at 6 p.m. We welcome your comments and opinions 24-7 at TanyaFree.com, Facebook and Twitter, or send me a text by texting the word Tanya, that's 72727. Tanya Free and Friends, and May We Help You Radio, living life, What's the purpose? Most people are held captive by being an employee or self-employed. Heroes Academy helps break these chains that bind them. Our financial school has two courses of study. First, one for people who want to transition to become business owners. And the second, for students who want to learn to become an investor. For more information, please go to HeroACAD.com. You're listening to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show with host Erica A. Murray. International news, informative talks, every Thursday. Now, back to the show. Okay, prior to the break, we traveled to Mexico, Argentina, Los Angeles, New York, and Brazil. I encourage each business owner and entrepreneur to do something different in your business today. Invest in daily facelifts and you'll you will be around for eternity. Take the first step, and the first step is believing in yourself, your vision, and your goals, and you can do it. I believe in you. That's why I'm here on the radio every week bringing you international news and informative talk from some remarkable entrepreneurs. Also, if you missed the first segment of the show, remember you can also download this episode by going to iTunes or acquiring the MWHY mobile app. Go get it and stay tuned into what's happening around the world. After you get the MWHY radio app, don't stop there. Go right ahead and download the iHeartRadio app because this is our month to appear on iHeartRadio. That's right, we'll be live on iHeartRadio this month. We are conducting daily facelifts at the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. My show is only great as my producer, and I love her from the top of my heart. That's Mrs. Leticia M. for her hard work. Never stops, and I appreciate her, and I know all of our listening audience around the world do. 
does too. So let's get back to the show. It's time for Ways to Improve Your Business on UIBE Radio. That's right, the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio. Get your paper and pen and get ready to be informed. Hey, if you change your mind, you'll definitely change your business. Listen closely to what's coming next. It's time to talk about ways that you may improve your business in 2015. Today, we're going to review seven tips for preventing a business meltdown. Yes, I did say a business meltdown. Just in case you didn't know, it happens all oh too often. But here on the Ultimate International Business Experience radio show, we don't want it to happen to you. Many entrepreneurs struggle to stay in business amid intense competition. Here are seven suggestions for increasing your chances of sustaining a successful business. Number one, keep abreast of the competition. Don't assume anything about the competition, such as whether it's stronger or weaker than your company. Remember, there's always something to learn about a rival. Do your homework and find ways to deliver a superior product. The more you know about your competition, the better chances you have for being successful. Here are a few pointed items to gather about your competition. First, who are your top five competitors? And why do you believe them to be your competition? Next, what are your competitors' pricing points? Find this information out by any means necessary. Next, what are your competitors' service offerings? And once you gain this information, identify their top five services or products. You must make it your business to know how your competitors' services compare to your services or products. Finally, make sure to identify your top services or product offerings and why you believe them to be so. Number two. Know your product inside and out. Many business owners think they know everything about their product lines. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Yet, a business owner should know all of the advantages and disadvantages of his or her products and how it compares with the competition. Today's marketplace is continuously evolving and you should work diligently to continuously improve your product lines or services. We spoke about continuous improvement on last week. Continuous improvement should be a lifestyle and culture within your business. Step number three, communication is key. Be in touch with your employees on a daily basis. All staffers should be on the same wavelength and trying to reach the same goals. Ensure that you are articulating the company's vision, mission, and goals in a way that the staffers can understand, as well as to see how they fit into the entire spectrum and the value that their jobs bring to the fold. The last thing you want is for employees to pursue different paths. This leads to wasted time and effort. Talk with members of your team daily to be sure that all staffers are doing what they should. Step number four, take care of your employees. Treat staffers with respect and don't be cheap. Invest in yourself as the owner and your people. The key to a successful business is having good workers devoted to working for you. When this happens, your consumers or clients are happy to spend money with you. Remember, the culture of an organization flows from the top. Happy workers increases profit margins. Dissatisfied workers can sabotage your business efforts and cause a loss in productivity. A company with a reputation for taking care of its workers can remain successful even in today's competitive environment. I don't personally have any experience with this company, but I've heard employees of Google boast about their company, and they never want to leave that place. There is something big happening over there, corporate America, that should be studied. Way to go, Google. Step number five, strive to be better. Don't settle for being just average when it comes to your business. 
Come on, business owners. You have to think bigger of your business, even if you operate out of one room. Regardless of how successful you may be, find ways to improve company operations. Your company's operational framework should be on paper. That's right, on paper. Having it in your head is not good for anyone. You must also continue to find ways to be more productive and efficient when managing employees and attaining business objectives. Managing people can be easy or you can make it very difficult. The main thing to do is to assess the skill set of the people working with you and ensure that you utilize their skills in the right place within your organization. You don't just want people who are good at a task. You want people who are exceptional at the task required. Once again, put the right people in the right places within your organization. And if you don't know how to do this, I suggest that you partner with Mr. Tom Rath, author of Strength Finders 2.0, and utilize their battery evaluation to assess your employee's strength. You'll be very happy that you did. Step number six, stay within the budget. Oh, how we at the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show love a budget. You know that budgets are our friends, right? So don't spend money that you don't have. There is no need for exaggerated visibility in business. Operate financially where you are. Many businesses easily go into debt from not watching expenses and overspending when there is a surplus. Keep a budget and plan your big ticket item purchases. Finally, number seven, don't be greedy. That's right. You heard it here on the Ultimate International Business Experience radio show. Don't be greedy, business owners. Some successful business people become greedy and end up losing everything. Monitor your success and take things one step at a time. Follow your business objectives and don't assume that success will continue to last. Do everything in moderation when managing your company through good times and bad. Yes, things will happen that will take everyone by surprise. But be flexible, and when unexpected events happen, learn to deal with them immediately. Don't put off things that you can do today and never underestimate your competition. So those are the seven tips for preventing a business meltdown in 2015 and beyond. Thanks to Mr. Stan Popovich and Entrepreneur Magazine for sharing these insightful principles with us over here at the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show, where we provide you with informative talk on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Now, wasn't that great information? It was so great, I want to make sure that you have the seven tips, so I'm going to give them to you again. Tip number one. Keep abreast of your competition. Tip number two, know your product inside and out. And if you have a service, know that inside and out as well. Tip number three, communication is key. You have to be able to articulate information in a manner in which the recipient can understand. Tip number four, take care of your employees. Come on, people. we got to take care of those who take care of us. Tip number five, strive to be better. Tip number six, stay within your budget. Don't spend what you don't have. And finally, tip number seven, don't be greedy. Above all, let us not forget that one. Now let's commit right now to make this information practical within our businesses. All right, well, it's time to do what we do again to pay the bills for this radio show that has been ranked as a top-rated show by its wonderful listening audience according to the downloads that it receives and the number of individuals who tune their dials every week. But before we go to break, I want to thank our listeners who are listening in every location in which this show is syndicated, but also to those who are currently listening in Germany. We see some of you online, and we see those of you in Africa, of course, Jamaica, and our friends in London, England. Thank you all for listening. On last week, I had a listener in London who sent me a message and said that I didn't mention their location. Well, I got you guys covered today. I corrected that. Course correction is always good. We know that you're listening. We appreciate each and every one of you for your sacrifice because of the time differences to join us by tuning in to this global show that brings you international news, informative talk, every Thursday on the best radio network, the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network. We can't go to break without acknowledging those of you who are posting to Facebook, Twitter, and the various chat rooms. We are the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show, and coming up after the break, 
we have something so exciting that you don't want to miss it on our International Stiletto segment. That's right. How about hashtag girl boss? Stay tuned and you'll learn what that means. And don't forget, our big cosmetic give- giveaway begins in moments, and it's coming up right after this commercial break. To all of my female entrepreneurs, it's time to expand your region and business profits. Are you networking in the same locale and viewing the same guest list over and over? Do you find your colleagues are referring new business and its clients that you already have in your portfolio? Are you industry stagnant? And are your social groups and events filled with the same people? If you answer yes to just one of these questions, it's time to expand internationally. You are cordially invited to petition for attendance to an all-female exclusive and private event featuring the Power of 52 Women, the East Coast International Business Symposium, hosted by rock star entrepreneur and international business consultant Erica A. Murray and multimedia distributor and expert Letitia M. And moderator, Ms. Joan Henry of the Women's Entrepreneur Expo, beginning February 28, 2015 in Baltimore, Maryland, March 28th in New York, New York, April 18th in Washington, D.C., May the 23rd in Atlanta, Georgia, June the 20th in Boston, Massachusetts, and September, Africa. If you are serious about your business, don't miss this event. Go to www.thepowerof52women.com for more information. Once again, go to www.thepowerof52women.com and register today. This is an event you don't want to miss. Hi, this is Benita with Off the Vine. Join us on Fridays at 3 o'clock for fun talk about wine. This season, I'm going to put this little sommelier certification to work as we expand the conversation to talk about beer and spirits, too. Meet more exciting special guests, and you never know just who may show up at the studio. Off the Vine with Benita on the May We Help You Radio Network, giving you something to whine about. You're listening to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show with host Erica A. Murray. International news, informative talks, every Thursday. Now, back to the show. Welcome back to the show. And once again, if you missed the first two segments, well, shame on you. But just call me the fairy godmother because with one wave of my magical business wine, you can hear it again by downloading the MWH5 radio app or going online to iTunes. And if you would like to receive this show via email every week, just sign up with me by sending me an email to info at ericaamurray.com and the subject header put sign me up for UIBE Weekly. That's all you have to do. Moving along in our program, we are so happy about this next segment of our show. Oh, how we love to highlight what women are doing in business. It's only because those beautiful stilettos are leaving footprints around the globe. Speaking of leaving stilettos around the globe, I would like to invite female entrepreneurs to participate in the Power of 52 Women International Symposium that will be on the East Coast starting in February. This symposium is going to be simply amazing. It will feature, of course, myself, rock star entrepreneur Erica A. Murray, and multimedia distributor and expert Ms. Letitia M. We are truly excited about this event because we know that it is packed with tools necessary to go to another dimension in 2015. We'll also have hosting a few of those events, Ms. Joan Henry, who annually has a Women's Entrepreneur Expo in D.C., Maryland region. This event for her is held on April 25, 2015 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Check out the Women's Entrepreneur Expo in the D.C., Maryland area. And for more information on The Power of 52 Women, please try it on down to www.thepower52women.com. That's www.thepower52women.com or send an email to info at thepower52women.com. You really want to register for this event happening the following cities on the following dates. February 28, 2015, Baltimore, Maryland. March 28, 2015, New York, New York. April 18, 2015, Washington, D.C. May the 23rd, 2015, Atlanta, Georgia. June 20, 2015, Boston, Mass. And we have a new date coming up for Africa, Kenya. Can you believe it? We're talking about global business. The International Business Symposium for Women will highlight how you can expand your business internationally, acquiring global partners, international marketing, as well as the four R's of social media. 
International. You can also be connected with some angel investors who are seeking businesses, seeking businesses so that they can throw some cash. This is definitely a forum you don't want to miss. Just know that it's very competitive to gain access to this event. The Power 52 women look to support innovative, small and medium-sized female entrepreneurs as we believe they will have immense contributions to the world economy. We look for high-potential female leaders with a great deal of passion and belief in their business, as well as those who are willing to learn new concepts and techniques to grow their business beyond measure. The application process is straightforward. Starting with submitting a professional photo of yourself, a short business and personal bio, and a 200-word essay on why you should be accepted to the program. The essay should include what separates you and your business from other enterprises, what value your business will add to your local and global economy, and your business goals for 2015 to 2017. Now that we've informed you about that event, today in our International Stiletto segment, we will be highlighting an amazing woman. Yes, she is totally amazing, and she's doing something remarkable. And we want to bring it to you right here on UIBE Radio. That's right, the International Business Experience Radio Show. But before we go into the International Stiletto moment, I want to pique your curiosity and thought with this question and read some remarks that I received on Facebook. Here's the question. There are many billionaires and millionaires who dropped out of college. Do you think that the promotion of higher education stifles a person's entrepreneurial spirit? Well, now let's hear what some people say on Facebook. Simone Bo of Nassau, Bahamas, I think the entire system is designed to stifle entrepreneurship, education, and work. They both seem to engender the mindset of control, subjugation, scarcity, and conformity. When education and work in themselves are none of those things, it's amazing that the new wealthy creates companies that are more sensitive to the pioneering spirit of entrepreneurial-minded people and changing employee needs. Thank you, Simone, from Nassau for that. And I have another person, which is recording artist, Mr. Neil Tada Burroughs of Nassau, Bahamas. Hmm, this is an interesting one. I've never been to university, but I do believe one should take the opportunity to do so, if possible. Entrepreneurship does require a certain level of thinking, skills, and courage that can be learned outside of such a setting. Thank you, Ms. Barwas, for that, also known as Tada, a, just a multi-platinum uh, recording artist. Thank you for tuning in to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show. The next person we have is Mr. Sean Barnes from New Orleans, Louisiana. He says education is for betterment of the person and mankind. If the only reason you're seeking a college education is for a job, one has missed the point of college. But companies are looking for literate employees. If a person wants to start a business, a degree is not really required unless it's an engineering, medical, or legal company you're starting. Thank you, Sean, for that. We have Mr. Otis Spears of Denver, Colorado. He says, today's education teaches well-learned students to be employees of those who drop out or never attended school. Wow. And for those who graduate, they find themselves paying back more than they earned as an employee. He said, Robert Kiyosaki's Second Chance is a great read. Educating our youth about creating wealth and using their mindset is essential. And finally, we have Ms. Kim Welcome of Nassau, Bahamas. She said, college is more than a degree. College is supposed to help you to think critically, expand your mind, give you exposure, and help you to become resourceful, all beneficial to the entrepreneur. Thank all of you guys for your posts on Facebook, Twitter, and wherever I got you from. I appreciate you contributing to this segment on my social media. Their comments, you know, if, if for their comments on my social media sites, I'm sorry about that, you guys. If you want to share your voice, just connect with me on social media, Facebook and Twitter at Erica A. Murray, Instagram, I am Erica A. Murray, and LinkedIn, Erica A. Murray Global. Now, here's the international stiletto boss for this week. I want you guys to listen closely. In this week's segment of International Stilettos, we are talking about a female college dropout that has reached millionaire status. Yes, you heard me correctly. No student loans and still fully loaded. That's what I'm talking about, ladies. That's the way to set an example. The lady that we are going to highlight is none other than Miss Sophia Amoruso. Don't know who she is, do you? But you will in a moment. In a predominantly male tech industry, Nasty Gal's founder, Sophia Amarusa, is gaining a lot of attention as a young female CEO who is doing things her way. With an estimated net worth of $250 million and growing, I'd say that you will be seeing the name Sophia Amarusa a lot more often. At the age of 22 years old, 
Sophia Amoruso created a vintage woman's clothing business on eBay. You heard me, ladies, eBay. Sophia started her business as a small project while working for just $13 per hour at a local college where she checked the IDs of college students. She herself had dropped out of college and lived at the time with a step-aunt. After receiving a number of messages on MySpace from vintage clothing eBay sellers, Sophia was inspired to learn the ways of selling online and decided to start her own eBay store. Sophia named her online business after the 1975 Betty Davis album, Nasty Gal. Sophia Amarusa decided to pull together a collection of vintage clothing she found at a Goodwill store, then offered the pieces for sale on her eBay website. As an example, she would purchase a Chanel jacket from the Salvation Army store for $8 and would resell the item for $1,000 on her website. At the start of her business, Amarusa photographed, styled, captioned, and shipped out about 25 different items weekly from her store. She created the store's fashion around her own style that included such things as blood red lipstick, floor lint trench coats, and rock style vintage t-shirts. Amoruso felt that eBay was not the best choice to start her business and it was beginning to stifle her growth. Her competitors taunted her by flagging her site in an attempt to discredit her business. She decided to start her own company website and thus www.shopnastygal.com was born. At the time, www.nastygal.com was a porn site, but she was later able to purchase that domain. Sophia initially marketed her Nasty Gal fashions on MySpace social website, where she developed a following of 60,000 individuals who were mainly attracted to the nylon brand and purchased fashion and music magazines. MySpace was the foundation for her original strong following, but lately has, she has proven that she holds weight on other social network platforms with over 620,000 followers on Facebook and over 600,000 on Instagram. Sophia wanted to develop a following of people interested in her merchandise, such as Versace vintage clothing and motorcycle jackets. She attracted followers to her by creating competitions on Facebook and inviting readers to her site to create names for her vintage products in exchange for gift cards for her products. The website statistics went through the roof. Amoruso amassed a following of 550,000 site visitors who spent a total of six minutes daily viewing her site, and 10% of them visited the site more than 100 times every month. Amoruso's business revenue last year was almost $100 million, and it is predicted that her fan base will increase even more in the coming years. Sophia realized that while her sales conversions were greater than the industry average, she was at 3%. She needed to expand her brand offering to include more unique vintage fashions because there was a growing demand for varied sizes. Sophia Amoruso and her buyer made the long drive to Los Angeles weekly, and they also attended trade shows in Las Vegas. At such conventions, she was faced with higher-end fashions, the owners of which would not welcome the idea of their fashions being sold at a store with the name of Nasty Gal. In fact, many people discredited it as a sex store because the domain www.nastygal.com was still a pornography online store. She had convinced the vendors by actually showing them her site, www.shopnastygal.com, on her cell phone. She was able to get a seller to agree to sell her clothes, and she promised she would do credit to the brand name. From that point on, Sophia Amoruso started to develop credibility in the eyes of some of the most recognizable brands in the market. She was able to create new channels for the brand name she did business with. At this point, Sophia Amoruso was now ready to do business with venture capitalists who wanted in on her business. She decided to go with Index Ventures, where she received $40 million in venture funding and gave them equity for $9 million. The company, she added, is debt-free and has been profitable from the start. Sales moved quickly after the venture funding and quadrupled to $128 million in profit. Amoruso then invested in a fulfillment center covering 500,000 square feet in Kentucky. Nasty Gal has brought in more than 150,000 shoppers in over 50 countries so far, with over 6 million visitors each month and counting. 
Her competitors are starting to be watchful of her moves. Now 31 years old, Sophia Amoruso realizes that her business name still receives uncomfortable looks and assumptions, but she contends that her business is the country's fastest growing retailer. I want to leave you with a direct quote from Ms. Sophia Amorusa that I am certain that every female entrepreneur can appreciate. A girl boss knows when to throw punches and when to roll with them. Gotta love that quote. Today, ladies, when you tweet, use the hashtag girl boss in honor of Ms. Sophia Amoruso. In a conventional world, you must do something unconventional to stand out. Great job, Sophia. Thank you, Mr. Joel Brown, for your contributions to our International Stiletto Moment on the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show. Ms. Sophia Amoruso, globe trotting and leaving her footprints in the sand around the globe. If you're doing something extraordinary in business, female entrepreneurs, and you want to be highlighted on our International Stiletto Moment, send me a message, a direct message at mwhyradio.com or email me at info at ericaamurray.com. Share what's happening with you, and we'll tell the world about it right here on UIBE Radio. That's right, the ultimate international business experience radio. Once again, women are doing it bigger than ever, and they are leaving their footprints in the sand around the world. Don't forget to tune in next week to our International Stiletto Moment. Goodbye for now. If you didn't know Miss Sophia Amoruso before this segment, I bet you won't forget her name now. What a story, what a story. That can be you. So be inspired and annihilate the web with your business. And if you need help, contact us over here at UIBE Radio, and we can get you advertised and help you to increase your sales. That's right. Now we want to give away some cosmetic products, so let me bring Miss Renata Berry of Renata Cosmetics on the line. Are you there, Renata? Yes, I am. Thanks for having me. Thanks Thank for having me. Thank you so me. much I'm for excited. partnering with us. Thank you for partnering with us over here at UIB Radio in our international stiletto segment to give our female entrepreneurs image. Thank you. You're so welcome. let me ask you this. Tell me why you decided to partner with UIBE Radio for this giveaway. Well, um, I really do believe in what you guys are doing. I think that the information that you guys bring across is very phenomenal, and it's a great way. Um, information is important, and also it's also important to look as important as you are, meaning by the information. Many times we can have the the knowledge, um, the information, but then you have to have the style, the class, the look that can bring you there. And I'm sure most of your audience are mostly made up of professional women or who are um, going into the professional industry. So I want to be able to partner with you guys so that we can help out a couple of lucky listeners to um, increase and enhance their beauty using my product line. Okay. So tell our listeners what they get when they do use your product. Awesome. The main thing that they do, most of my customers will say that their confidence level has um, increased. The reason why is because our products enhances the beauty. Many times we overlook features that we have. So when you apply my product, you'll notice that your um, your features are enhanced and they're not overpowered, but they are enhanced. And so most of the customers would also agree that they're very much enhanced. So you get an extra added benefit of confidence. Okay, well, that's good. Confidence is always good for the business owner. You know, I guess if we look good, we can present very well, right? <laughs> I totally agree. And, and what good is it to present very well and not look good? So I'm so that's happy. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're partnering with us and giving us some confidence. It matters. So tell me this: yes. what are we going to give away today? Whew, I thought you never asked. Now, as <laughs> we know that many times we can speak. And the product that we're going to be giving away today is the Luscious Lip Special because we want those lips to speak when they're not even saying a word. We want those lips to be beautiful at all times. So we have a Luscious Lip Package that we'll be giving away to the to a lucky member of your audience today. All right, all right, all right. So this is what we're going to do for our listeners. Um, we want to do is say, all right, the first lady to tweet me at Erica A. Murray, that's E-R-I-C-A, another A, M-U-R-R-A-Y, using hashtag U-I-B-E radio 
and hashtag girl boss will win this luscious lip package from Renata Cosmetics. So go. All right, Renata, what's the next thing we're going to give away? Well, Erica, I know more than anything that you're very good with your audience. What is it that you think that would be the great next gift for your next audience, lucky listener? I like the Diva Express. Tell them what the Diva Express is. (laughs) Oh, oh, the Diva Express is awesome. It's one of my favorites. I use it almost every day except um, sometimes I've even at. So the Diva Express is my two into one wet dry powder foundation, and then it also enhances your lips too as well by using our uh, dual purpose lip liner, a uh, lipstick, and a lip gloss. So that's for you ladies that are in a hurry to go and want to make sure you still have your beauty enhanced. The Diva Express package will be awesome. So what do you say, Erica? That's the retail value of sixty five dollars. How about if we offer thirty five dollars towards the Diva Express package? I think that's really a good deal. So I love the Diva Express. It has everything you need to make your face. I'll just beat it down in so many words. Make (laughs) yourself look amazing. Okay, hey, that's one beat down. A woman don't mind. Hey, that's right. So it's the Diva Express. That's going to be the second thing that we're going to give away. All right, and the third thing that we're going to give away, tell me the third thing. We're going to give away three things today. What's the third thing we're going to give away? Hmm. Now, most. Ladies, and even myself previously before the age of 25, I've been the one to just apply the makeup and not too sure about cleaning the skin. So skin care is very important. We want the face to look beat whether you have on the products or because you're taking the proper care regimen. So what we're going to do is give away our complexion bar. And the complexion bar and the moisturizer will be to the next caller, to the next lucky listener. What do you think about that? That works for me. I do believe in skin care. I think you're just as beautiful without makeup as you are with the makeup enhancing you. So if you are listening to the show right now, right now, if you're listening by your telephone right now, press 1 and you're going to win this gift card. So press 1 if you're listening to the show. <laughs> we'll be able to... Go ahead and bless you with that. I'm going to take a minute here. Wait a minute here. I'm going to take a minute here, and I'm going to post some stuff and see. I'm going to check some social media sites. If you could, just tell us a little bit more about your products. Tell them how you just went through the Midwest with your products and you wrecked things. Since you've been in business about 10 years or right over 10 years, correct? That is correct. That is correct. Um, Thank you so much for the opportunity so that I can share with them my products. I am originally from New Orleans, and then after Katrina, which happened 15 days after the formulation of me creating my product line, I was moved to um, Minnesota. Well, we stood there um, and done excellent business. The customers totally loved the products. Um, The main product, like the Diva Express, like one of your favorites as well, took the market by storm. The women love how the pressed powder goes on to the skin without going on to the clothes. I mean, that's an extra added benefit. Most women love how they look, but they don't love how their clothes look because of how they're looking. So having the Diva Express package allows your face to wear the product and not your clothes. Um, Everything is hypoallergenic and not comedogenic. It's made with no fair bins or tack, no A&C dyes, so it's great for all skin types. Um, The luscious lips. You have any, you have you want to respond? Um, I think that's a great thing, especially with no um, where, where it doesn't get on your clothes because those things are very challenging to get out, and not very uh, many products stay on your face. Oftentimes, if you lay your head on your boyfriend's shoulder, your husband's shoulder, mm-hmm. you take your face and all your makeup is on your clothes. But here's yes. one thing I want to say: we do have a winner on Twitter. Miss Benita Johnson, we thank you so much because you've got the Luscious Lips Package. Girl, that is going to have your lips on shine and on blast. Everybody's going to yes. want to kiss you, yes. I'm sure. 
<laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get your information, Miss Benita Johnson, and we're going to have Renata to give you a call for like a personal concierge touch. We can send you to the website, but I wanted it to be just a little bit more personable so that she can tell you about the products, and you guys together can select the color of lip line and lipstick that works for you. All right, continue. Awesome. Go ahead and tell me what you were going to tell me while we get a Facebook winner too. Awesome. Now, what we're going to talk about now is that show. Um, it's a dual-purpose liner, so most people love the fact that it has not the smudge. Most liners smudge, they run, uh, they wear off pretty easily. So with my dual-purpose liner, you'll find that it's long-lasting. It goes on, glides on very nice and smooth, and it has awesome pigmentation to make sure that it shows up, and it's consistent. Consistent. Most customers love the consistency of the products in everything. From the lipsticks, we have our uh, luscious lips, uh, the matte and the pearl. Very nice. Both awesome selection. The matte lipsticks is for the ones who like to be bold, daring, and even in the new tone, we have a matte lipstick that can go on and give you that extra added benefit of consistency and high pigment, so most people love that. And if you're like myself, I'm one that loves to wear the lip gloss, but I don't love the stickiness. So you'll definitely find that we have our gloss and you don't find the tackiness on your lips. You don't have to worry about when you're speaking that your lips are sticking together or the colors are changing. Like I said, one thing that you will love and appreciate is the consistency. So how you apply it will pretty much be how it will stay out through the life of the product that is on your lips. So you definitely appreciate that as well. Okay, well, great. Well, what we're going to do is I know my producer, she's on the back side of she's handling all of those people. We're going to go ahead. We're going to announce them a little bit later in the segment. We're going to kind of move on. Um, from this part, we have it here on UIB Radio. We care about the image, your image, ladies. If you didn't win today, don't worry. We'll be here next week giving away more products from Renata Cosmetics where she has overtaken the Midwest and she's moving down south. Thank you, Renata, for your partnership. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I love this next segment of our show because this is where we encourage you as a business owner to get up and do something really big for your business. This week we have humanitarian Deborah Hockley of London, England, who will be sharing with you her action item tips for the progressive business owner. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, listening around the globe, every new day gives you a chance to move your business forward from your present situation. Keep in mind that there will always be things that you can improve and do better in your business. The key is to have a vision of what you want to achieve, where you want to go, and what you want the business to become. For my avid listeners, by now you should have your pen and paper, and you are ready. If this is your first time, grab some quickly and take notes, as we desire for you to implement the tips from this segment into your business. Remember, it takes too much to build a business to not implement techniques that work. Let's learn from this extraordinary global entrepreneur. Listen carefully to what she is going to say next. Hi, this is Debbie Hockley of Set Your Mark Enterprises in London, England, and I am delighted to join forces with rock star, entrepreneur, Erica A. Murray of the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show on the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network to provide you this week's action item tips for entrepreneurs and business owners around the globe. My first tip for you today is find your self-worth. Knowing your self-worth is one of the most valuable assets to achieving your goals, and this in turn gives you the ability to influence society in a positive light. You will have more confidence as you set out to grow your business and in turn create a better impact in society today. I once had John Maxwell say that people are never able to outperform their self-image. When you focus only on success, you care only about what others think of you. When you focus on achieving your goals, you work to become the best version of you. Success is when your self-worth remains intact. Those are powerful words from John Maxwell. This is usually one of the biggest obstacles from entrepreneurs. One thing I would say is start by reading a personal development book. Listen to a motivational speech first thing in the morning, before you go to bed, or during your 
drive time in between meetings, this will start to change your mindset to take you to a place where you see yourself as more valuable. Which takes me to my next tip. Recognize your potential. Once you know your self-worth and value who you are, then you will start to recognize your potential. I once had someone say, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. It's also important to write down your goals. Where do you want to be a year from now? Where do you see yourself in five years? Your goals need to be smart, meaning they're specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. There is no better time to start your business or launch into a new project than now. Sometimes while you're waiting for the perfect timing, opportunities will pass you by. I love the quote by Brian Tracy that states, Committing your goals to paper increases the likelihood of you achieving them by 1,000%. That is absolutely amazing. My third tip is develop yourself. In order to be a great entrepreneur or a great leader in your field is to be a consistent learner. A quote by Bruce Lee states, a wise person can learn more from a foolish question than a fool can learn from a wise answer. Put yourself in a position where you are constantly learning from those who are more successful than you. Find someone who is doing the same business as you. Get tips from them. Ask them questions. This way you become a better learner, you become a better business person, and you don't make the same mistakes that they did. Most of the successful leaders we see have a mentor, someone that offers words of wisdom to help them grow. Throughout your life journey, you will come across people from all walks of life. Learn from the smallest situations to the biggest of milestones. My fourth tip for you today is take a leap of faith. I have to say that one of my favorite quotes is by Eleanor Roosevelt that states, You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You are able to say to yourself, I have lived through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. These are such powerful words of wisdom because each and every one of us will face situations where we feel we cannot achieve what we set out to do. As an entrepreneur, you will face setbacks and obstacles. The key is not to let these obstacles overcome you. Instead, let them be stepping stones that enable you to grow to the next level. We must always have a mindset that believes and has faith that we can achieve what we set our minds to achieve. My fifth and final step for you today is stay true and authentic to who you are. Henry Carvis once said that if you don't have integrity, you have nothing. You can't buy it. You can have all the money in the world. But if you are not a moral or ethical person, you really have nothing. This has been Debbie Hockley of Set Your Mark Enterprises in London, England. I hope that this week's action action item tips have inspired you to do something different today that will move you and your business forward. Thank you for listening to the Ultimate International Business Experience radio show with rock star entrepreneur Erica A. Murray on the May We Help You radio network. All right, ladies and gentlemen around the world, you heard it here on UIB Radio, the Ultimate International Business Experience Show. Action item tips from Miss Deborah Hockley of Set Your Mark in London, England. If you miss if you missed any of those tips, let me restate them for you. Miss Hockley said, Tip number one, know your worth. I love that. If you don't assess a value to yourself, no one else will. Tip number two, 
Recognize your potential. We all have it, but not everyone taps into it. Tip number three, develop yourself. You must be a lifelong learner, people. And finally, tip number four, take a leap of faith. That is what entrepreneurship is all about. Thank you so much for your empowering insight for our listening audience. Debbie, you can contact this phenomenal entrepreneur by visiting her website at www.setyourmark.org. Once again, that's www.setyourmark.org. Reach out to her on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash setyourmark. And Twitter, you can reach her at S-Y-M-E Tweets. And she's also on LinkedIn. Just search for Deborah, D-E-B-O-R-A-H, Hockley, H-O-C-K-L-E-Y. Those are your action items for this week. Implement them and grow your business. If you believe that you have tips that our audience can use to improve um, to improve them or their businesses, find out how you can be a part of this segment by emailing me at info at ericaamurray.com or mosey right on down to www.mwhyradio.com and send me a message there. You can also send me a message on Facebook or LinkedIn, and we'll, we'll talk about how we can make this happen. It's about that time for us to separate until next week, Thursday. But before we part, I want you to know that February is going to be an exciting month on the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show. February has been token as Love Month, and because we are UIBE Radio, the Ultimate International Business Experience, we're going to have the Ultimate Beauty Giveaway all month long. Ladies, you will experience $500 in, well, over $500 in beauty products during our International Stiletto segment all month long. Hey, men, don't get it. I can hear you guys saying, what about the men? I'll think of something for you. Yes, it's Valentine's Day is one day, but image is forever. So tune in and tell your entrepreneurial counterparts to join us for a chance to keep that image moving forward. Congratulations to our winners today, and we do have a winner on Facebook. Her name is Miss Marianne Aristi. She won the Diva Express package. And thank you to Miss Renata Barry of Renata Cosmetics for this giveaway and stopping by the show once again. Don't forget to download the May We Help You Radio Broadcast Network app to listen to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show on the go and a host of other informative shows. Go to www.mwhyradio.com and get it free today. Join the network on Facebook and Twitter to win prizes and services. Connect with me on social media for a chance to win free radio advertising for your business. All right, man, that's something for you, okay? Join me on Facebook and Twitter at Erica A. Murray or Instagram, I am Erica A. Murray. Use hashtag radio contest to let me know you are entering for your chance to win. You have until February 28th to enter, but why wait? Do it today. Before I sign off, my mantra is forward progression and upward mobility. If what you're doing in business isn't moving you forward and up, perhaps you should reevaluate what it is that you're doing. February is going to be amazing for business owners around the globe. We're going to finish the first quarter strong. You have been listening to the Ultimate International Business Experience Radio Show, International News, Informative Talk, every Thursday. I'll see you next week.